Good morning. And it's very windy and very cold. So I'm gonna get in the car now. Ah, there's snow. I, I tip, it looked like it snowed last night. But uh, I'm gonna go run a few errands and hopefully like get these these nails fixed. And by fixed, I mean filled. And two other errands. Maybe looking at some merch, but we shall see. Uh, and then follow along. I don't really have, nothing's really planned. I'm just gonna try to do all the stuff I have to do. So, maybe I'll show you what I'm eating today. What are you saying? What are you saying? Oh, what are you saying? Oh, well, what are you saying? Are you talking? You're a good girl. You're a good girl. So this is totally what I've been doing to get my steps in. Is I just luckily got this little mini treadmill from my dad. Thanks, David Slater. And uh, I started up. Get it to the speed. And I'm talking like we're doing 2.4, 2.6 kilometers an hour. And uh, I just do my work from here. Just, so what I would recommend, you probably can't hear me because the mic is on this side. And this is important to hear, is what I would recommend is even getting one of those little walking pads. Like you don't even need to have this part. Um, or obviously you can. I'm not sure how much this little treadmill was, but uh, it's fantastic. And I just rigged up the desk part with just literally a lid from one, like a plastic tote we had. And I'll just park my butt here for about an hour and get a ton of steps in and a ton of work done. So it's really a win-win. Can you break in your neck? Are you breaking your neck? Oh, you little piggy. Okay, you can put your head back down. Put your head down. Don't put your head down. Go ahead, put your head down. Go ahead, let it hang. No. And put your head down. Relax. Just chill out. Oh, are you mad? Do you know what those are? Tandoori naan. Deep onion culture. Sounds like something I love. <laughs> Yeah, they have good stuff. They do. Look at all the Asian stuff. Literally don't sleep on fresh cow, okay? There's lots of stuff here. I also love grocery stores. Yeah. Okay, so we apparently went right from the grocery store to the gym. And it was back day. I started off with lap pull downs. And then I went immediately into a single arm pullover. And I did the left arm first, my weaker arm, and then I went right to my right arm. I decided that this was going to be a day of interesting angles. So these are like not flattering angles was the theme. Yeah, we're nailing that with the not flattering. 
Actually, this one's not bad. Here we go. Actually, we're getting leaner, so we don't really have double chin here, which is nice. Waist coming in. Delts coming in. Bicep vein coming in. And that back coming in for sure. Yeah, that looks good. Go ahead and make them growl. Come here, Finn. Come here, Finn. Oh. Hi. She, she kind of controls him a little bit, right? Were you growling at Finley? It's like What's the up? female dog. Watch, you get her swatting. Watch. What? Oh, oh, hi. You want some more? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You want some more? Oh, okay, 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 okay. You want some more? Oh, okay. You want some more? Okay. You want some more? Yeah. You want some more? Yeah? You want some more? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alrighty. So we're going to have something cool for dinner tonight. And a lot of you might think it's gross. We are having octopus tonight. It looks cool. Hmm. Okay. So for this octopus, we're going to do it very simple the way I'm cooking it initially, just so that I can eat some. And then after it's initially cooked and nice and tender, I'm going to crisp it up a bit for Tim just by adding um, some oils to it, just a little bit of oils and throwing it in the air fryer. I'm going to crisp it up, but I'm initially going to cook it in the instant pot so a pressure cook um there it is uh i love this thing i like to cook chicken breast turkey breast um in there and it gets it really nice and tender so that i can pull it apart but today we are going to try octopus which i've never tried in here so what a recipe that I looked up said is that we're going to want to get um, some lemon slices to add in uh, with it while it cooks. So I got some lemons today. So I'm going to wash the whole lemon. Slices like this in with the octopus. I think it's really gonna help uh, tenderize it, I believe, and a nice little flavor as well. Who doesn't love lemon? I am going to take out the seeds uh, and skins. And if you didn't get that reference, you're too young. Did you get that reference, Timothy? I'm not listening. Uh, you're not listening? I said I'm going to pick out the seeds and skins. Pick out the seeds and skins. That's it. Sit on dragon wheels. <laughs> yeah, roll, roll, roll the joint. Can I just mic you up while you're sitting over there? You probably should. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, it says two are connected, so hopefully that works. Alrighty. Are you excited for your octopus? Yes, yes. Do you know how you're gonna make it? Yeah, I just was explaining to them. But well, I'm... I didn't hear what the hell saying. I know. I'm not gonna ruin the surprise for you. Alright, well. All you need to know is that it's gonna be delicious. Ah. Okay. Well, you said you want to hear a funny story I just made? 
Yeah. yeah. What was it? Ryan commented on my Instagram post. He goes, "Guys gunning for that gold medal. Jack this dog dad in the neighborhood." You already know which direction I'm going. With. Oh. I yeah. was like, I will smash my head into the curb uncontrollably, like Lattimore in the program, if I even accidentally referred to myself as a dog dad. Unfortunately, this comment requires you to understand that reference of Lattimore in the movie The Program. Damn it. Okay. Well, somebody will get it. Somebody okay. Will get it. Comment if you get that reference. Now we are going to add one cup of water. You need to add water before you pressure cook. I'm gonna add one and a half because it just looks like not enough. Okay, one cup, of, one and a half cups of water. Then I'm gonna add. Then we're gonna get our octopus, and I am gonna just rinse it. Octopus is a delicacy in a lot of um, Mediterranean countries, I believe. Tim, look at it. What's up, can baby? literally, like, 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 its eyeballs and everything. Dude, that's sick. Let me film that. What is that? The cynical of the stuff, man. Yo, what is that? Like, you can, like, see it. Look at that. Octo. Look at all its little things. Your uh, octo slaves fit to me. Like I'm sad because it kind of looks like a baby hippo. Okay, well, that's kind of what it looks like. Anyways. Anyways, I'm eating that tonight. Woo! -hoo! Yes, we are. All right, so I'm placing it in the pressure cooker uh, container thing. I don't know what I would call this. What would you call this? The thing. We're gonna pressure cook it. And then, yeah, I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna, well, instant pot. I don't know what this is called. I guess uh, this is the pot of the instant pot. Sure. Um, so yes, I'm putting it in. I'm putting the lemons in just on top of it. And this is how I'm gonna cook it. Now, the website uh, where I found the recipe now just says all you have to do is, um, Cook it on high. Sorry, I'm just washing my hands. Cook it on high for 15 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. Once it comes out, I will be cutting up the tendrils, which are the little eggs, and uh, frying that up for 10, so it's nice and crispy. So it looks delicious. Do you want to see this, Tim? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Take a photo. Yeah. You like tonight's dinner? Yeah. Yeah. You want to have a look? You want to have a look? Yeah. Really? I can't tilt it. Oh, okay, you're good. You're good. Okay. Let's do this. Place it in. Oh, it doesn't know what it's doing. Oh, it's because of this. Okay. okay. And now we have to set it to sealing. And we go pressure cook. 
15 minutes and let it go. Now, I'm just going to give another quick wash because I don't know what kind of thing I have to put on them. And my microbiology days say that I should wash my hands. Okay, that is going to go, it says on. Uh, in the meantime, though, we're going to put the lemons away and we're going to do up some veggies. So we got some peppers we're going to do. Brussels sprouts, those are frozen, so I'll just throw them right in the air fryer. And some mushrooms. So we have a little bit of a vegetable medley going on. Those I'm going to cook while I'm going to rinse the lemon off. While the uh, Octopus is cooking in the instant pot. So I'm going to cut up these shrooms. little doggies like to eat the peppers so they will get some as a treat. Oh, he already knows because I said the magic word. Didn't I, Finley? Okay, give me one sec. Squid. Do you want one, Maggie? Okay. One for Finley. One for Maggie. And then follow me back over here. Yes. Follow me. Okay, so I'm going to slice up these peppers. Fun fact. One of Maggie's siblings is called Pepper. And she is a cutie. She looks like Finley. Okay. Slicing these bad boys up. It's so ironic, Tim, because I literally hate cooking. I know. I'm proud of you. Wow. Maybe I don't hate it, but hate's a strong word. I like eating. You're good at it. Well, yeah. I'm literally cooking you octopus. Like, what? Who does that? You want one of these, Finn? I have one of these. Here you go, sir. Okay. Here you go, ma'am. Okay. Almost 
crimped. That's cool. Slice these guys up. I did at one point learn proper knife technique. I don't think I'm doing that at this moment. But I learned it more for like chopping, like smaller chopping to protect your fingers and stuff like that. You're supposed to use your knuckles to push it forward, not your fingertip. That's a fun fact. We've got our handy dandy air fryer. I'm just gonna throw these in. Now low key on prep, I do I cook all the veggies together, but then I'll like separate them to weigh them. Oh, you lost me. Okay, now we're gonna slice up the mushrooms. When you cook them all together, now, if you're new to tracking and food stuff like that, just do everything separately. It just makes it easier. I've been doing this for a century. These mushrooms are so aesthetic. Look at that mushroom. It looks like a cartoon. Hey, Tim. Look at this thing. Looks like a cartoon mushroom. Yeah, it looks like classic. <laughs> yeah, I hope not. Wow. Might be. These are Sobeys mushrooms, so they're high quality. Good thing about the Well, the higher end grocery store, right? Okay. I like these uh these compliments frozen veg because they give you a little thing to rewrap it, which is really good. So I'm going to throw in some sprouts. These are the big sprouts. The other ones we had before were the baby sprouts. All right. Sprouts now I think. Like this. Hold it and ta-da. So that's really good. Uh, this is gonna go in the garbage, and I'm gonna cook everything, throw these in the air fryer, fry them up. Octopus is almost starting to cook, it's just warming up, and I will show you the finished product. You want rice with it? Yes, please. Look at that finished product for Tim. It's the octopus, veggies. I made him rice for me. It's veggies. Oh, look at that. Oh, that won't focus. No, focus on my octopus. Wow. Wow. Okay, Tim. Yo. How was the octopus? Oh, it was super good. It was really good. Yeah, I was quite impressed. I thought it was, I knew it was gonna be good. I was like, ooh, it's gonna be fun. But uh, yeah, it was bonkers. I'm gonna have it again. Like anything that I enjoy in life, 
I abuse it until I hate it. That's facts, real. Also, yeah, <laughs> you just have a wife that can cook octopus really good, so that's nice. Yeah, you did a great job. I will make you that again. Thank you. Can you do me a favor and go in the fridge in the bottom drawer on the left and surprise me with one of the ice waters? That's the brand name. All Where the way down. The, the drawer. Oh, yeah. Crisper? Yeah, got it. Surprise me. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, let me show them. Strawberry kiwi. Okay. I have now hit 100 subscribers. So, obviously, the next goal is to get to 200. So please help me get there and hit the subscribe button. And we I'll be back celebrate. tomorrow. We will celebrate. No, with like a hundred or something. You have to do Ooh. a hundred shots of vodka. But I make all my clients do um, like finishers and they're all like one times a hundred reps. So I'll do a finisher tomorrow. Yeah, do something awesome. Do something that's actually hard. It is hard. The finishers are hard. It's got to be hard. They're going to comment below and they're going to tell, tell you how hard it yeah, is. Yeah, do that. Tag Tim and tell him how hard it is. <laughs> Tag me on you can, I think. Can you do that? Yeah, you can. Anyways, see you tomorrow. Good night.